guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in lounging mode because there's actually a developer direct from like Xbox and Bethesda now that they are. Um, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do this today or not, but I am actually really excited uh, to hear about the next Elder Scrolls Online expansion. And I know I haven't played since Greymore, like it's been a little bit. I hadn't really played since the Champion Points rework, so. Like, I reacted to Blackwood and then never even played it. That was really sad. Uh, but I have actually started playing again this week. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And um, the teasers that we have seen thus far in the forms of letters and an IGN leak that I tried to avoid, but I saw something, so I think I know where it is now. Um, they're hinting at Hermaeus Mora and Mora Wind, and it's like the, like, Oblivion sort of expansion wasn't enough to bring me back, but you pull out Hermaeus, Mora, and Morrowind, I'm here for it, so. And, you know, there's always that piece of me that just really hopes that they'll finally say something about Elder Scrolls 6. It has been, how many years? 2018 was a long time ago now. And honestly, I probably won't show anything else, unless if I'm really interested. I know I'm once again going to get asked about Starfield, I'm not a sci-fi person. I don't care about Starfield. Stop asking me. I'm not playing it. Not my vibe. So yeah, for most of this, I'm just gonna be. But I'll edit that all out for you. I've missed ESO and I've missed, um, I don't know. I always liked that these releases or like the announcements for them was always like right before my birthday. Like today's the 25th, my birthday's the 29th. It's always been a good birthday present. Like all of those up there, I pre-ordered for myself uh, as a nice little birthday present. So all I want. Hermaeus Mora statue, please give me Hermaeus Mora things. I want Hermaeus Mora things. They've been releasing statues separately from the collector's editions, which does make me sad. I didn't get the Marin's Dagon one and I regret that. I will not, I will not do that again with Hermaeus Mora. If the statue is not Hermaeus Mora, I will be really offended. Watch this like not even be Hermaeus Mora related. No, it was, it was. And. As one final announcement, because I'm sitting here bored for 30 minutes, so I keep coming up with more things to say. I am going to be brave tonight, and I'm going to be streaming World of Warcraft over on my Twitch, which is Xtemriel. I want to get back to streaming. Uh, I want to do World of Warcraft on Wednesdays and The Elder Scrolls Online on Thursdays. Probably not every Wednesday and Thursday, especially while I'm trying to get used to it again. But yeah, I hope I'll see y'all there. Okay, already it doesn't seem like there's any hope of Elder Scrolls 6 news, which I wasn't counting on, but... At least Minecraft's nice. Everyone loves Minecraft. Quickly. To be honest, I didn't even look like they were planning on talking about Starfield. Hmm. So I know it got delayed, but I haven't really been keeping up with it, so... What, they're not- they're not saving it for last? I thought they were! Okay, I'm- I'm here now! I'm pleased to reveal ESO Necrom which will launch in June okay. and is shaping up to be one of the best updates to the game ever. It was right. The if thing I saw was right. Closely, you saw that Necrom I didn't watch it closely because I, requested features I saw mushrooms and was like, are they just... Playable class Never mind. Called the Arcanist. Okay, it's, our it's about time. class since launch, and we know you're going to love it. The Arcanist wields magic influenced by forbidden knowledge and has unique abilities never before seen in this world. Of course, the experience of exploring a new area of Tamriel was the heart of every ESO chapter. Necrom will unfold in Eastern Morrowind, not seen in an Elder Scrolls game since 1994, where you will meet new characters and enemies, reunite with some old friends, and explore a story based around the return of a well-known Daedric Prince you just might remember from the Dragonborn Skyrim DLC. My friend! God, I was just so checked out whenever they showed the teaser. I was just like, I saw mushrooms and I was like, Oh, are they just showing, like, something old from Morrowind? And then I was also like, wait, I don't remember this. And as anyone who's played a classic Fake fan. That does play to the fact people are, like, the, the community's split in half right now, because half of them are like, yay, more Morrowind, like me, and then the other half is like, we've had so much Morrowind, please. So I guess that just proves maybe we've had a little bit too much Morrowind, but I don't care. There's more Morrowind. I'm gonna have to rewind and watch that again, because like, this doesn't look familiar to me, but I saw the demon dude and for some reason thought it was from Blackwood. 
Because, see, like, they always do things like this. Like, yeah, this is all of our old stuff. And they've been going on for that, <laughs> or about this longer than they were the new stuff. They do it every time. And now I'm mad at myself. So, Necrom, I feel like that's the perfect... Okay, I'm, I'm muting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like the City of the Dead for the Dark Elves and Hermaeus Mora and the new class being all about forbidden knowledge. I'm like, no, Gonair is so like sorcerer, like all the lightning magic stuff, but forbidden knowledge, hello? I, I'm at my character limit, no. I think they might give you a new one once they release a new, right? <laughs> I hope so. Who am I gonna make as this person or this class? Oh my God. It's like, it was exactly what I knew it was going to be. And yeah, okay, actually, uh, you can't rewind on Twitch. Okay, hold on. Show me that teaser again, because my dumbass missed it. I, ch I was so tuned out. Can I rewind this one? Yes. Okay. Okay, mute that one. That is really loud. Remember that feeling? Oh my god. What? Why are the captions in this, this language? Yeah, because there's a whole coffin there. I just saw that dude and I was like, oh, that's probably from Blackwood. But there's mushrooms and stuff too. And Dark Elves, oh, okay. Did they give her human eyes? That's not cool. Don't do that to elves. Welcome to Hunter okay. Island. And okay, no, I wanna see it again, Island actually. Island. And I'm gonna be so quiet this time. right there oh my god i'll wait for the after show now where we can actually see more stuff like they spent like 20 minutes talking about like everything else like each not not really this it's only been going for like 30 minutes but okay the actual eso show the part that i'm here for is about to begin so now i have to sit here awkwardly for a minute i love this logo too it's got hermaeus more i just i'm sorry i clearly like him way too much a new playable class called it's about Arkham. time matt also revealed that the new chapter called necrom will take you back to a familiar location in tamriel morrowind and while there very divisive a familiar face a well-known daedric prince from the skyrim dragon Board but who can't be excited it's about that of what's to come but before i go into any more detail ah, it. oh it's so cool okay to the mood <laughs> and feel of this arc i obviously it's get way too excited Trolls meets cosmic horror, and I can't wait for you all to see it. Well, they don't have to wait any longer. This is the Elder Scrolls Online Necrom. Okay, I'm gonna proceed so hard this time. Turning it up. Why'd they give them human eyes? Don't do that. Don't do that to Elder Scrolls elves. This makes me sad. God, I love spooky vibes. Like, <sighs> Necrom is the perfect location for this with Hermaeus Mora. Like, oh. Uh. Not to mention revisiting Apocrypha. I'm always here for that. See, I'm like, how am I supposed to play that as not gone air, but also he's my lightning boy? What do you do about that? Hey. 
pet him. Pet him. Pet him. Do it. Pet him, coward. I would. I would pet him. I love Hermaeus Mora. He just looks like a Kirby villain. That was awesome. Forbidden Those knowledge and whatnot really all spooky. Like, back. what's not to it's love? Everything centers around Hermaeus Mora. We've explored As it should. who this prince is in a few zones in ESO up to this point. But there are complicated Daedric prints. Mora is the knower of unknown and hoards knowledge and secrets in their own. Some of these secrets are just too dangerous for any being to know. There are hidden powers that threaten Mora's realm of Apocrypha with the ultimate goal of uncovering one of these secrets. A secret so important and so dangerous that if discovered, it can unravel Make those banners. <laughs> Make those reality. banners. This is all of nerd. I want yes, them. Absolutely. So where do our players fit into the mix? Players are essentially being tested by Mora to see if they are worthy to help aid them. So the over gloves. the course of this adventure, players will become sort of a protector of this ultimate secret that these hidden powers are searching for. And there's also an opportunity for players to seek out other knowledge if they wish, to dig into some of the origins of our new playable class in the Arcanist. Cool new playable class. I am so in, and I know like, a lot of our players are as well. Now, I guess Bjorn. I can remake Bjorn with that sort of vibe. And everyone knows from the Elder Scrolls <laughs> it three. It fit. The, we're going to be exploring the eastern portion of Morrowind, specifically the Talvani Peninsula. Yay! I'm sorry. I'm always down for more of. I know so so many people are sick of it. Like no more Morrowind. But how? We saw that was Morrowind's the coolest. Yes. Yep. And we haven't seen that since the Elder Scrolls Arena, and it looks very yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, a lot has changed since then, uh, but yeah, Necrom is- It's been a while since I've read about it, but- And there's so much amazing lore around this. Yeah. It's a city of the dead, where Dunmer families from all over Morrowind bury their deceased in these elaborate ceremonies. But there's also some really just wild rumors as to the origins of Necrom. It's a crazy old city. But I'll leave that up to CJ to kind of dig into in just a little bit. Now, finally, Necrom isn't the only cool location that players are going to get to explore. So tell us about the zone that I'm pretty familiar <laughs> with and some of our players will be too, and that's Apocrypha. Uh, yes, the Oblivion Realm, home to forbidden knowledge. Yes. Also home, home. to the know-it-all Daedric Prince <laughs> that we just saw. What we've like, I'm sorry, right? Dragonborn was like that you know and love from Sky top it's Elder it's Scrolls content for me, <laughs> so... It's like, I know they're keeping Shivering Isles in their pocket, which is also exciting, but for me, like, Apocrypha is just a little more. <laughs> I, ooh, concept art. Mm. See, I'd heard rumors that it was going to be taking place there, then some people were like, oh, it's going to be Blacklight, because you see the Hermaeus Mora symbol under a Blacklight, but... Giant mushrooms and Necrom was the better choice. <laughs> like, ESO Morrowind is what got me really into ESO. Why shouldn't this be what brings me back in, you know? Hmm. Lord of Vivek, known as the warrior poet, spun some wild stories about the city's foundations, which may or may not be true. As he does. <laughs> but stuff specifically, the lore of Vivek himself having defeated the great beast, Gulgamor Jill, whose bones supposedly lay the foundations for the city. Entering Necrom for the first time, you're bound to notice the towering rib-like rock formations. I do love that. Which it's very the cool. Is the legend true or simply apocryphal? Come tour the lands and make your own decision. We know Vivek that. made that up. Next, the distinct arched doorways and decorative elements are there, as well as the detailed mosaics on oh, the opulent interior spaces. Oh, that's so pretty. I want my ceiling to look like that. <laughs> then we expanded on the ideas oh, presented. Oh, actually in the being kind of outside, interesting. I house. love the weapons. Mortals don't really survive in Apocrypha for a long time. Knowledge is enticing, but you'd be a fool to assume that it's harmless. And the sheer amount of information there tends to melt mortal minds, mangle their bones, contort their flesh, and turn them into terrifying creatures. Oh, oh, that's nice. Some that's new. Some lifeless collections of paper, totally safe to pick up. But others house tome shells, a small danger who live between oh! the pages of Apocrypha's first editions. They oh may my not God. necessarily <laughs> attack you. I want one as a pet right a now. On the beach, only to discover That's incredible. And hushed aren't the only denizens in Apocrypha. No, Apocrypha's guardians lurk around every corner. Seekers attend to the vast library while Love those dudes. Love the people. Waters, Don't like, like them as much. <laughs> You'll even meet a clanless Dromora called Torvasard, who refuses to let the secrets of Apocrypha remain undisturbed. Torvasard's Okay, yeah. Mysterious there was obviously some Dromora, and I was like, what is going on it's with that? It's <laughs> really hard to tell if he's friend or foe. Okay. Vampire mercenaries known as the Dusk Sabers prowl the Tilvani Peninsula working for Magister Shelreni Barrow. Shelreni seeks to climb the ranks of her house by any means necessary. As even it goes. working with anyone who will give her the power to achieve her goals. 
as it goes. Not everything will be <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online Necrom is available for pre-purchase right now. Oh While no. the chapter will launch on PC. <sighs> just give me a collector's edition. Just hit me with it. They do them sometimes, not all the time. I hope they do. I'm going to need it. I don't have Blackwater High Isle, so Whoops. While some will be unlocked. Ah, it's not a little book, man. I do like the robes. That is horrifying. For a limited time, I hate that horse. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is this new apocrypha themed now that also horrifying. Jeez. Other pre-purchase items that come with the deluxe upgrade and culture. still not the book guy, but that Separate is close. The outfit upgrade, style looks great. Just as cool is the Hermes yes! statue that's available. That was way too loud. <laughs> yeah. Secure yours along with some awesome ESO merch. I'm. Right I'm now, going right now. Time, I'm going. <laughs> running. Oh, I'm I'm materialistic and stupid, but I love the statues. Arcanist class at launch, and we know you've been eagerly awaiting more information on that. So let's check it out now. New class. Okay, I'm. I guess Bjorn, cause like oh, we haven't gotten there yet in Skyrim, but he's gonna be connected to Hermaeus more too, you know. So I guess I'll just remake him. The number one most requested feature from players. is champion, but mm, we'll figure it out. Why don't we give the I just want to see the class. The backstory and inspiration behind the Arcanist. The Arcanist is a new way to play and experience ESL. It's the seventh playable class and channels the power. God, of I love that. Mm. Ancient rooms Anything with Hermes Mora on it, I'm just like, it's hell really yeah. Well, I started off with three skill lines Parable of the Tome, Apocryphal Soldier, and Curative Rune Forms. Each line oh, I'm so on here for it. <laughs> I'm Offense, so here for it. Defense and support. The challenge we embraced was making these abilities feel unique compared to previous classes. But not so systematically different that veteran players would feel out of place. I know several of the abilities will leave you awestruck. Two of my favorite new abilities are Apocryphal Gate and Abyssal Impact. Apocryphal Gate lets you open a pair of temporary portals that you can jump between for extra infight mobility. Oh, Warlock moment. Or use these portals for creative exploration. Abyssal Impact is a bit more direct. It has you infuse your arm with unstable magic, transforming it That is so cool. Oh my god. It's freaking stuck off from Heroes of the Storm. I can't even process. I'm really excited about this class. We're doing something very different for like, the Arcanist. Implementing a combo point system. In this system, certain abilities will build points. So like a- Okay, Warcraft Rogue? Warcraft Rogue? I'm sorry, I'm Warcraft Brain. Dreaming for this to be something all players can easily get a handle on. I think, no one should worry that this class will be too technical to play. I think I, I can figure it out. I play rogue yet, sometimes. Though, so <laughs> the rest will have to be a secret for now. Think of this like is so cool. Book. This is you such a good concept. So spice up your spells. Oh! The only taste of the Arcanist you'll get. Hermamora class! Don't lag! No! Show me more Hermamora stuff! Twitch, you have failed me. No, people are talking about companions and stuff and I can't see it. <laughs> Reload! Okay, apparently there's an Argonian companion and people are real happy about it. God, I wish I could see him. Oh! What? Nice. You, so ah! tell us about the two That's really loud. We're gonna see. Okay. The first Twitch just went down for me. I don't know. It wasn't my internet. Chat was going. Warden, who is what what are these captions? Get out of here. Enigma. He originated from Black oh. Orange, but his past is lost to him. Thick, he spent a lot beefy. of time trying to figure out who he is. I haven't even gotten a companion yet. He is so. a lot more reserved than our other companions, as he's lived a tough life and he really. I already love him. Chatty, and you're gonna have to prove yourself to him. I I already and love him. Then there is Azander. Azander is a redguard male and a little bit of a crazy fatherly figure professor. Uh, I already love really him. And he's got this really singular focus on the pursuit of knowledge. And so what's so special about Azander, Rich? As some of you might have guessed, with Azander being so focused on this pursuit of knowledge, uh, he's an Look Arcanist Look at the plants! So you'll be able to dig into a <laughs> bit amazing. of side of his story as well. Oh my so god. amazing. We'll be able to begin their adventures this March with our first DLC. Ah. Awesome. I will definitely be checking that. Out. I really need Before to get into streaming up, so we can do ESO again, man. Planning to the ESO calendar. Like it's not going to be Absolutely. this Thursday because I have plans, ESO but hopefully after that. Living, how does an endless dungeon with a buddy sound? Oh, sounds good. We'll have a lot more info on this later in this year, but I'm insanely excited about this. What? <laughs> very cool. Okay, so they're just talking about events and whatnot. I think that's all of the big reveal things. Oh my God. Okay. 
I am definitely playing this whenever it comes out. I don't know if I'll be doing it on YouTube or Twitch. I guess we'll see. Uh, if you have a preference, do let me know. I'll be uploading any streams that I do to my other channel, Tamriel Streams, but uh, I, I'm overwhelmed. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I think they're ending it. So I'm gonna mute it because it's distracting me. Oh my God. I'm playing it, I'm playing it. Bjorn, I think that's who's gonna be the cl Cause like, that's a fun theme to explore with him anyway. Like, it should be Gone Air. It should be Gone Air. But, <laughs> I've already leveled up Gone Air, like, a good bit. I don't- I don't want to do it again. <laughs> and he's also one of my favorite to play as, because I just threw everything into Storm Sorcery and just zzz, everywhere. And I knew- I knew what was coming, and yet... Okay, wait, can I- Okay, wait, can I get the- hold on. I look unhinged. Oh! Oh! He's on it! <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go- Get the statue. Let me know if you're excited. I definitely am. Holy shit. Like I said, we'll be returning to ESO on stream probably next week. Probably. I would I would have done it this week, but I had plans with a friend that had to get rescheduled to when I would be streaming. But but yeah, uh 